Welcome back to Houston. We are here in the Stanley Cup Finals against the Washington Capitals, the 54-win Washington Capitals. But to be fair, though, we do only have one more regulation loss than them. We had 27, they had 26, and they finished their season pretty strong with 6-2-2. Two, and two. And then the Hammerheads with a 5-4-1. and one. As you can see here, JT Miller absolutely lighting the lamp with 21 points in 17 games. If we go to the player stats here we can see that uh, we have some other players that are also lighting it up boss is point of game barzal is point of game reinhardt's right there palmieri is up there this guy is a legend sergachev has 15 as well olafson has 15 and he has been putting home the goals too so i'm yeah pretty conf well never mind he only has three for some reason I thought he was getting a lot more than that i guess he's getting helpers hamburger helpers more than anything who's scoring all the goals then i guess jt miller has Oh, yeah, no, he only has three. JT Miller has eight. Boss with nine, eight. Okay, so, yeah, Olofsson is a sniper. I thought he was scoring for some reason, but I guess I'm crazy and I'm misremembering. But either way, he's putting up points. Robert Thomas with 10. He's up to 85 now. Still 25 years of age, so he has another year or two of growth, which is nice. Hannafin has nine. And then Kavanov doing well, which is good considering he is 21. And McLeod is now up to an 84. Love to see it. So, yeah, the team is doing well. If we go to our goaltenders, you can see that DiPietro absolutely slayed it when he came in in relief for Hellebuck. But overall, Hellebuck's doing solid. He has a 9-12, 2-55, and yeah, one shutout in the playoffs so far. So let's see what we're up against here in, I believe, the President's Trophy winning Capitals. Let me double check that. I'm curious. Did they end up winning it? Can't remember. And let's go to the entire league. No, they did not. They were not even really close. They finished fifth. But they still had a great year. Chicago with a 121. That is absurd. Okay. So that is partially reassuring. Let's view the lines now. If it's going to load. There we go. View lines. And let's go to Washington. There they are. Ovechkin down to an 87. He's playing with 82 Oshi and 86 Backstrom. Okay. So that first line, it's still going to be lethal. Like, I bet you this guy's still putting home 90 goals a year. Yeah, there you go. Absolute legend of the game. Okay, they have Connor McMichael who's up to 85. And then Kuznetsov and Arvidsson. Sprong, Glenn Denning, and Zuccarello. For some reason, never mind. I thought that he was a defenseman, but I'm crazy. And then they got Jarvis with Nichushkin and Joseph. So, honestly, their offense isn't that great. It's really not. On defense, they have uh, Johansson playing with Carlson. And you know what? Their defense isn't incredible either. It really is not. I don't know what's going on here. They have Samsonov or Samsonov. I'm not really sure. He's an elite goaltender, 88 overall. In my opinion, we have them beat everywhere. But that is definitely up for debate. And I guess we're about to find out how we simulate against them right now. This is it. This is for all the marbles. East versus West. Stanley Cup Final. Let's get the first game underway. All right. First period. Boom. I'll take that. That's 2-1. That is huge. Second period. Oh, no. They tied it up. All right. Well, let's go and do a somewhat real-time sim here and watch as the rest of the game unfolds. We are putting up a decent amount of shots right now, but Washington is... Definitely on our tail in that category. We gave them a power play. They weren't able to capitalize. Under four to go. We get a power play. And we're not able to capitalize. It is heading to OT in the first game. We are out shooting them now. But that doesn't really mean a whole lot. Especially because they are coming back. And Reinhardt's going to get the winner. A 3-2 victory over Washington in game one. Both goalies played phenomenal in that one. They're going to be the first and second star I can imagine. Uh, no. Wait, what? Their goalie did really well too, no? Anyway, I guess Boss and Glendening did better. But Hellebuck, great performance. Boss putting up one and one. There we have it. That is game one under our belt in favor of Houston. Sim to the next one. Yes, please. And here we go. Game number two in Washington. First period. All right. We're down by one. Second period. We tied it up. Olofsson getting two this game. He heard me. He heard me. He's 
realized that he had to start scoring, and he is definitely getting it done. Kuznetsov puts one behind Hellebuck early on to put the Capitals in the lead. We give them a power play, and we score right after it. Roslovic with a massive goal to tie this thing up in the third. We give Washington another power play. They are not able to capitalize, and that will do it for regulation. We are heading to overtime yet again. Power play for Houston. No dice. Five minutes in, and we are being outshot quite heavily right now. Under 10 to go in the first overtime period. Yeah, the Capitals are sort of pulling away with shots there. And we get it again! Matthew Barzell with a big overtime winner. That will put Houston up 2-0 in the series, heading to Houston. Three, oh, okay. I accidentally overpressed it there, but my bad. Anyway, we won the game, so that's the important thing. We are up 2 to nothing here in the Stanley Cup Finals. I almost can't believe it, but I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself. We have absolutely not won this series yet. Not even close, okay? There is lots of hockey to be played, but if we keep playing the way we are, then we can absolutely get this done. First period. All right, a big <laughs> offensive first period. Second period is going to be in favor of Washington big time. They pull ahead by three. We get one early on there. Reinhardt gets a power play goal in the early minutes of the third period to cut the lead down to two. We get another one from JT Miller. It cuts the lead down to one now. A power play for the Capitals was killed off by the Hammerheads. And now they get a power play of their own. Not able to capitalize. Two minutes remaining, and it looks like Washington is going to just hold on and squeak out a victory there to make it 2-1 to one in the series. JT Miller, first star. Reinhardt up there as well, and Sergachev got a goal. He is the third star of that game. All right. Well, that is unfortunate, but we are still leading the series 2-1, to one, and hopefully we can take this game in our home barn. We don't want to lose two to them at home, even though we beat them twice in their home barn. First period, boom. Nice, I'll take that. That's a big lead. Second period, nice. We are up by one, heading into three. Shots are about even right now. And let's hope that the Hammerheads can shut it down. And no, they cannot. Zuccarello's gonna score, tying it up from the hash marks there, the outside hash mark too. That's got to be one incredible shot. Time is running out here. Are we going to see another overtime? Yes, we are. Overtime again. This is madness. It's overtime central here. A power play for the Hammerheads. Not able to capitalize. Will the Hammerheads get a commanding 3-1 series lead? Or will Washington send it back to their home barn with a best of three? Are we going to see a second overtime period? It looks like we might. Yes, we are. Shots are currently 44-38 to 38 in favor of Washington, who have a power play that is killed off, but Kuznetsov buries one after the power play expired, and that gives the Washington Capitals another tally in this series, and that makes it 2-2. Two two. Samsonov played phenomenal that game. 37 saves, a 948 save percentage. McMichael and Kuznetsov, the second and third star, respectively. We are heading back to Washington with a best of three series. Holy crap. All right, let's do this simulate game. It is really, really down to the wire now. Every game is incredibly important. First period, that is not what we're looking for. Ovi with two and Backstrom with one. That is an awful first period. Only four shots from Houston. Second period, oh my, okay. Well, it looks like Washington is going to be one win away from the Stanley Cup after this one, unless Houston pulls something out of their rear. But that is quite the... Yeah, it's done. It is done. That is far too difficult to accomplish in the playoffs. I mean, it's not impossible. The Leafs blew a big lead in the playoffs. So, you know, it could happen, but no siree. Big 6-1 victory for Washington. They are now one win away from the Stanley Cup, Backstrom with two and two, OV three and one, and then Oshi had two helpers along the way. We are on the brink of elimination. Lose one more and we are done. 
We can't do this. All right, I'm simming real time the whole game. I'm doing this. This is way too intense to be simulating the first and second period. Oh, my word. Sprung's going to put one in early. That might have been the first or second. Sh oh, my. What is going on? What is this? We are playing like absolute crap out there. You have got to be kidding me. No way. Thank you, Elliot Moose. Gets one from the goal line. Oh, my word. We just can't stop him. We can't. Where did this come from? We were doing so well, and we're really going to go and lose four in a row? Are you kidding me? Oh, my days. It's done. Yeah. All right. Congratulations to the Washington Capitals. We now have DiPietro in net. Thank you, boss, once again. The all-star out there. Halfway through the game, a three-goal deficit right now. Washington absolutely came out of the gates flying in this one, and we simply could not contain them. Third period, three goals still separate the teams. We aren't even getting a whole lot of shots right now. Gave Washington a power play, and they were not able to capitalize. We're not getting any offense going here whatsoever. Get some shots or something. Holy crap, they just shut us right down. We just got absolutely annihilated. Four straight games to the Washington Capitals and the Houston Hammerheads. Absolutely devastated losing in the finals. What a sick joke. Ovechkin with two goals. Sprong one and one. Boss, Elliot Moose is on the loose. That guy is going to be like 90 overall next year. So that is such an unfortunate loss. Very, very unfortunate. The Washington Capitals are the Stanley Cup champion. So let's have a look at the awards and just kind of go through those first. And I still can't do it. So on second thought, let's advance a day. Maybe then I'll be able to do it. Okay. The Islanders just fired their coach now. Good for them. What an unorthodox time. Capitals with the Stanley Cup. Chicago Wolves with the Calder. Can I view the awards now? I should be able to. Yes, I can. All right. So Washington with the Stanley Cup. Presidents to Chicago. We get the Clarence S. And the Prince of Wales goes to Washington, of course. Patty Kane gets the Art Ross and the Hart. Carlson with the Norris. The Lady Bing goes to Kane. Calder goes to Johnston. Ovechkin with the Conn Smythe. Hellebuck with the Vesna. Samsonov with the Jennings. I've basically been swapping back and forth between Samsonov and Samsonov. Anyway, Lundqvist with the Masterton. Raycroft with the Jack Adams. O'Reilly gets the Selkie this year. Patty Kane with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. He absolutely killed it this year, but so did his team. They had like 57 wins, right? They were the president's trophy winners that is devastating absolutely devastating so uh, i guess maybe we could do some draft interviews here okay cool sure and deal player retirement uh continue so i might even be able to just get us up to free agency honestly i might be able to do it because did i go to draft class okay yeah don't continue simming so uh, I did not see where our pick was, but it's not going to be a high pick. That's for sure. We're going to be way down here. Does it show me where the scouts sort of recommend? Okay. Well, anyway, let's say that we are somewhere back here, I would imagine. Because I don't think we're going to be much higher than that. Maybe we'll have a shot at this Winther kid. I doubt it, but let's see. Ed Winther. Let's interview player. What's going on, Eddie? Okay, let's learn about his skills, I suppose. Sure. I don't know, like, is there just set questions? Uh, what do you consider your greatest strength, hmm? Huh? Okay, has to be my shot. So he has a good shot. Neat. And let's go with a new topic, maybe. Let's see what else we can ask him. Let's go play style, sure. Why not? This is taking so long. Um, readiness. Yeah, let's find out. When do you think he's going to be NHL ready? To be honest, I feel I need at least a few seasons before I really hit my stride. Who's who, Like, would someone actually say that? Let's find out what type of player he is, too. I guess that's probably our last question, eh? A shot is his best asset, so I guess he's a sniper. Cool. Well, I'm trying to think of what we even need, really. We don't really need a whole lot. I'm almost willing to just trade our draft pick, but I don't even know what we would... Okay, so three years, he has a good shot, and he's a sniper. Nice. 
We have scouted him. Let's see. Is there anyone down here? Like, let's... Do we need defensemen? I don't even know if we really need defensive prospects either. Let's look at goalies. Is there any stud goalies this year? Hadar? Oh, my word. This guy's basically guaranteed to be medium elite. I know people would be pissed. Like, oh, you could have saved him for the second round, but... I'm going to interview this guy. Let's find out about him. All right, skills. Let's go. Yeah, let's take a long time to respond there. Strengths, what are you good at? Carson. Uh, Potulny? Potulny? I, I almost don't want him just because I can't really pronounce the name. Potulny. Anyway, his vision's good. Nice. What are you not so good at? He is not great at... Okay, I, I'm more of a get get it to the net in a direct line type of player than deking through the other team. Am I insane? Is this guy not a goaltender? He is a goaltender. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. What kind of person you are? Let's see. Are you a, a good guy? A bad guy? I should have asked him how long until he's NHL ready. Whatever. And he can be outspoken at times, but whatever. Cool. Decent interview, I suppose. Uh, should we do one more? Might as well. He has... Oh, weak puck skills. <laughs> that is the most, like, inaccurate, throw-you-off sort of answer of all time. And he's outspoken. Is that good or bad? Who knows? Let's see if there's anyone else here. We are recommended to get this guy. Ned Knighty. We don't even really need goalies, either. So they do show the recommended thing. Where's all the all the stars in the all players thing? Can I sort by that? Oh, there we go. All right. So these are the the scout recommendations. Now, what should we do? Is the question. Which player should we give our time to? Maybe like a medium top 6 or something? Cuz you can't keep getting elites, you know. You got to you got to fill out the team completely. A German top six defenseman. He seems like he could be all right. He's medium top six. And I'd almost rather have a medium top six than a medium top nine. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's interview this guy. Why not? Grice, interview player. Here we go. Let's talk about your personality first. And then I want to see when he thinks he's going to be NHL ready. Personality, what's going on? Who are you as a human being? High standards for myself and my team. I want to win at all costs. Great. All right. New topic. Love to hear that. This guy's already a winner. Play style. Yes. Here we go. Is this the readiness? Yeah. Let's ask him about when he thinks he's going to be ready. Probably a few years, right? A few seasons. Yeah. Okay. And let's go with his play style. What can you tell me, Norbert? As a defenseman, I believe I can join the rush and still be the first man back. Oh. I like that answer. Good for you. Okay. Well, there's the draft interviews. I think I'm just going to draft anyway because there's not really much that, you know, we could do. I don't want to move up. I think it's it's probably a good idea to just draft now, even re-sign, maybe get to free agency and see what we can do from there. So, yeah, let's uh let's do the draft. Oh, holy crap. We don't have a pick until pick 65. That's scary. All right. Well, let's go back to the draft class here. I don't even remember who the guys were. But there's a bunch of medium elites here. We know nothing about Chara. And yeah, there was a few players we interviewed. But I've, I kind of really want that goalie. Medium elite goalie? Are you kidding me? And then that German defenseman as well would be nice to get. So let's go to defenseman. See if we can find him at least. And Well, he's probably... We can probably go to here and find him. There he is. Okay. So he's expected... His scouting rank, 52. Um... Oh, yeah, like in the 50s somewhere. And then the goalie was... Well, I don't want you. I want the medium elite one, this guy. Yeah, he's guaranteed, basically, to be medium elite. And he's supposed to go 50 as well. So if we could try to get, like, a, a pick 45 and a pick 50 or so, we should be able to get both of them. Hmm. Okay, well, let, let me see what I can do. You know what, guys? Honestly, I'm not going to bother. Like, our team is just so well-rounded. We don't really need anything. So I'm, I'm not going to even bother trying to make moves. Obviously, no one's going to take 
what's his name? Uh, Palmieri because his contract's expiring. Like, I mean, okay, let's just see if we could trade. Because I know they want to give up their pick. Let's just see if Palmieri's even a, in the question. I know that they don't want him. He's not a part of their thing. And how low is his trade? Oh, yeah, he's way down there. So, no, not going to happen. Nope. Let's just go with what we've got. Sim to pick 65. I will go to the first round and see. So, Chara, 82. No abilities or X-Factors, though. Godfrey's got an X-Factor and a few abilities there. McNaughton, yep, and 80 overall. He's, uh, yeah, they're all medium elites, so I don't see any high elites or franchise players here. Another X-Factor, a few abilities for that guy. Hines, all right. Well, let's maybe make our pick here. That guy's got an ability. Oh, it's a goalie. Shields, medium starter, and he has the uh, tower there. I don't know what it means, but has it nonetheless. Okay, let's try to make a draft pick here and see what we can do. We have a gem in Sundstrom, but is it worth the risk? Uh, I don't know. A-plus competition, one point in 32 games. Yikes. This goalie's not even expected to go to 150, so I am not taking the goalie now, that's for sure. I might take this man's, because we're basically guaranteeing a medium top six, but this is the scout recommended, and it's also a player that's higher up on the scout ranks. These players are higher up too, but I don't know. I don't know if I trust it. So we got a left wing, probable two-way forward here. Medium top six, hopefully. Four years to being NHL ready. Oh man, this is going to be a rough draft. I can already tell. Who do I take here? Wells. 77, but... Mm, actually, who was it? That had a, this guy has quite a few points. Not so much there. Yeah, this guy did get a lot of points, but the strength of competition was a C-. minus. Well, now nah, let's risk it for the biscuit. Here you go. Make the pick. What's going on? Medium top nine. Oof. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Sim to pick 98. Um, Sim options. Our next pick's 131. So the goalie should... Should still be there. Hopefully. Let's just sort by goalies and see. So, yeah. It's still there now. And not supposed to go to 150. But that's, like, not even guaranteed to be medium starter. I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably take the goalie next round. In hopes that the scout is making good recommendations. Um, they actually want us to take this guy who is definitely not medium elite. But 121. Hmm. There's some chances at our abilities here. I really doubt that they're going to be actual abilities of the player. But I suppose you never know. Medium top six guaranteed with this guy. A left wing slash right wing sniper. I don't know. Four years to being NHL ready. Jeez. At 107. And then this player is supposed to go at 121. Crap. Okay, I'm going to take like the guaranteed top six forward. And then I want to see... What's the, the guy's name? I'm going to keep an eye on him to see if I screwed up. Bradley. Okay. So let's go with the top six forward. You know what? Screw that. I'm feeling risky today. We're taking Bradley. <laughs> Has the chance at some abilities here. Definitely not going to actually have them. But there you go. Scout recommended. Medium bottom six. And no abilities. Love that. So, Sim to next pick. It was a risk worth taking, in my opinion. We already have a decent prospect pool. And I'm okay with it. Alright, I'm going to take 90 now. Even though, clearly, we are getting recommended not solid players here. From the scouts, but 90. Um, wait, that wasn't even the goalie I interviewed. Oh, you're kidding me. I just realized that's not even the goalie I interviewed. Oh, the other one was the medium elite one, right? Yeah, okay. Wasn't going to drop this far. 90, here we go. Medium fringe starter. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Just an absolute piss poor draft from the boys here. Round five. What can we do? Let's sort by... Uh, medium bottom six wouldn't be bad. I don't mind medium bottom sixes. We do need to fill out the whole team, you know. We can't make a whole team of medium elites. Yeah, just based on the scout rank and the guarantee of a medium bottom six here in Joshua Walter. Might as well. Could pan out. Could be a bottom player for us in the future. So let's grab Walt. Right wing, two way forward. Only 58 overall, but got time to grow him in the league, of course. All right. Yeah, this is not the... We're definitely not getting studs from this draft, but 
Honestly, we, we don't really need them, as I've mentioned. So I think we're going to be all right. Nice. This player is a goalie slash goalie. I'm glad to know they can play two positions. Four years till they're NHL ready. Strength competition was a C minus and an 898 save percentage. Probably not. <laughs> but should I risk it? No. I don't know. The scout rank. So 163 is the lowest right now. Is there any 182? No, probably not. Uh, 219. No. Hmm. Okay, so 160 was the lowest. Should I try with Haynes, maybe? Camden Haynes. A right wing sniper. Ah, screw it. I'm just I'm just winging it now. Medium bottom six right wing sniper. What a draft. What an absolute draft. Just a cherry on the top for that fi finale to the playoffs. I'm going to say final playoff round, but I <laughs> changed it last second to finale. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Sure. Evan Hillman. I'm not even going to look into you. I'm, I'm done with this. Medium fringe starter. Good for you. Congrats. You're a part of Houston now. How many sevenths do we have? I don't want to do this. Just auto draft for me at this point. Little. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Get on the team. Low top six forward. I'll take that. And sim to next pick. There we go. Is that? Okay, thank you. It's our last one. Put me out of my misery already. And uh, maybe Galiev, perhaps. I'm going to take one of these two because why not? One is listed at 238. One's listed at 276. So I'll take Galiev. Thank you, AHL top. Okay, medium bottom six. Another sniper, though. Holy crap. Okay, well, that was um, that was rough. Definitely not the strongest draft in the world, but not the worst either. Okay, let us go to the re-sign phase. Obviously, we're letting Palmieri walk. I don't know if we have a whole lot of re-signing to do, but we might have a little bit of work here. Like, I do want to bring back Olafson, but how much does he want? Okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Let's try 6.35. I know you could do like the whatever percent thing, but I don't really want to do that. Um, Hag, bring you back. You're pretty solid for us, I feel like. Uh, two years at 2.6. Should get the job done there. I'll let Malgan go. Zach Sanford, I kind of want to bring back Zach Sanford. I feel like he adds a bit of grit to the team. But the question is, should I? <laughs> 80 discipline and a grinder. That's pretty solid. Malkin actually wasn't so bad either. How many points did Malkin get? 22 and was a dash four. Okay. And then if we go to Sanford, was 21, but a plus one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, let's try to bring back Sanford. He's not going to want a lot, I bet. I'll give you 1.55 for two years. There you go. Um, is there any prospects we have to bring back? Okay, Addison, sure. Three years. Oh, wants more than I expected. But let's see if I can get for two mil three years. Sure. Um, Smith, if you're a two-way contract, then I'll bring you back. Sure. Same with you, Hosang. Two-way. Yes, sir. And then Frederick is basically a two-way player now, unfortunately. Uh, Forsbacka. Carlson, two-way contract. Zingle, a two-way contract. Good stuff. HL team is going to rip it up again. Suzuki. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll give you just exactly what you want right now. Uh, Miramanov can have a two-way deal as well. Boom. There you go. Deneen, same deal. There you are. All right. Good stuff. This has been a successful re-signing. Stranges. Uh, wants the same, so I'll take him till he's 26. Maybe he can grow in the AHL. Who knows? Uh, one more year on that guy. Same with, uh, actually, no, you're going to be going. Low elite. All right, Granlin. Now's your time to shine. There you go. And we have a medium seventh defenseman. No, I'll let you walk. Uh, low top six forward. But only 55 overall. No, I'm going to let you walk, honestly. I'm just not growing at all. 55 overall. That is rough. Okay. So, uh, the medium top four defenseman. We have one more year. 69 overall, though. Like, they could... They could probably scrap it out in the AHL, but uh, maybe. In the bottom pair. 
So that's about it for that. Let's sim a day and see if we get everyone or not. Okay, so all the two... Oh, we got Olufsen as well. And then Sanford said no. I think Sanford is the only one that has said no so far. I missed that one. But it looks like Sanford was the only one that denied us. Yeah, okay. Sanford, offer you a contract. I'll offer you that. Okay, to be a fourth line forward for us. Everyone else said yes, it looks like. Cool. Nice. Max Jones is down to 77 overall. Oh boy. How many years are left in your contract? Two. That's not the end of the world. Alright, let us go to goalies. I don't think we have any big contracts here. Nope. Teal still has two years left, right? Yeah. And then we have this goalie medium backup. These two low backup, low starter. I think I'd rather have the medium backup if I'm going to be honest, so... Let's maybe bring this lad into a contract, but I'll let you walk. We got fringe starters, medium backup down here. Okay, I think we're we're pretty much good then. I uh, let's check in the system. I don't think it makes a difference, right? No, not really. Okay, so yeah, that's the contracts done. I'll leave it up to you guys. Okay, Sanford, are you kidding me? Oh, he didn't want to resign though, right? Maybe I'll let Sanford walk then. Uh, so Yoshi and Heikola, maybe? Anyway, yeah, maybe we'll sign him. Let me know what you think. Let me have some insight on that situation. It says he wants an extension. He's just being real stubborn about it. There you go, 1.7. That's my final offer. If you say no to that, you're gone, Jackie Moon. Okay, well, he's not happy with the minutes he played, and now he's being salty. Okay, you know what? I'll give you exactly what you want. How about that? That is my final offer. I'm not giving you more. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Time to sim to the free agents list. Boom. There you go. So we are losing Palmieri. We sort of have players to replace him with, which is nice. Okay. Uh, I'll do the scouting and uh, coach hiring off screen. That's not really, you know, super important. But yeah, let's have a look at the free agents market and also our team. So if we go to contracts can look at all of the positions that we have so centers we have these four here in the system we have force back carlson suzuki still listed as a depth forward so maybe we could bring in a depth centerman or we could play trent frederick on the fourth line that is also possible mcleod can be the third line center for us and then reinhardt 87 yeah okay um, let's go to the wingers left wingers oh oh boy Okay, we kind of need some left wingers here. Not gonna lie. We are weak on the left side. What about the right side? Oh my goodness, what happened to our team? Where'd our team go? Who are we missing? I guess we just lost some depth players, so... Yeah, we sort of need to get some some left wing depth there, for sure. Um, main roster, right wingers, yeah. So, that's something to take note of. We do need some depth on the left side. Uh, defense, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're still good for defense, it looks like. Don't have to make any moves or adjustments there. And then in net, yeah, we're good there. So basically, from what I saw, um, the only thing we really need is two depth left wingers. Uh, left wing. And we don't even super need that. Zingle, uh, well, I guess depth. And then Giovanni Smith, we could play on the fourth line. A grinder with 72 discipline, though. Del Cole listed as a depth. Okay, well, let's look at the free agents list and see who is available, first and foremost. And then I'll let you guys weigh in on that. So let's go to... Oh, Marty! 11 million, though. Holy crap. That is a lot of money. I'm just going to sort by... Where is it? Uh, UFA? Yeah, so here are the players that are signable without giving up an arm and a leg. So we got Ehlers as the top at 87. Uh, Johansson, Backstrom, Buchnevich, uh, Chandler Stevenson. It's a good player right there. Listed as third line, but wants 6.6 .6 and is 84 overall. Very interesting. Okay, Timothy Jimothy, fresh off a of Stanley Cup. His team's letting him go. He would actually be a good depth player for us, but yeah, 6.4 is quite a lot. How many years does he want it for? Um, Oshi, two. Oh, okay, maybe. But that'd bring up to at least 40. Holy crap. I have follows there as well. Okay, let's sort it by overall, actually, and go this way. I'm just gonna scroll through it quick 
And you guys can let me know who you think we should go after. All right, Palmieri is there. We lost him as well. So, yeah, we basically need to add some depth to the left wing position. Uh, or wings in general, I suppose. Maybe a depth centerman. But we don't really need to go after any huge names. So, let me know if there's anything here. Any players here that pique your interest. And, yeah, we could maybe go after them. Sam Bennett. Would be a good player to add. Warren Fogle. Not bad. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it done. We weren't able to win the Stanley Cup. Igor Shesterkin. Look at that. That is huge. Robin Leonard as well. But uh, we definitely put our best effort forth. And you know what? Oh, my goodness. Wow. High elite. And only 22. And they can't sign him. That is rough. Who's he belong to? Oh, the Wild. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, couldn't get it done. But there's always next year. I'll see you soon.